Everybody hear me? Scott. Everybody ready? Good? Okay. Uh, thank you for all being here today. I appreciate you for coming in. Uh, my name is Ellery Sosa. I'm the Chief of Police here in Lansing, Michigan. That's E-L-L-E-R-Y-S-O-S-E-B-E-E. -E -E. Uh, the purpose of this press conference is to continue to update everyone with new information and to share what has been done in hopes that will bring us a few steps closer to finding our missing two-year-old Winter Cole Smith. We speak for everyone, specifically the mother and the family, when we say we just want winter home safe. Since the Amber Alert, we have received countless tips and information on the whereabouts of winter. There are many agencies and multiple teams working together in Lansing, Detroit, and everywhere in between to follow up on all and every new piece of information that we get. So a little summary about the case. On July 2nd, approximately 23, 19 hours, Accused Rashad Malik Trice was in a domestic altercation with our 22 year old victim, which is Winter's mother, in the 3000 block of Boat Jardin in Lansing. The victim sustained multiple stab wounds in the assault, but was able to leave the house and call for help by a near, from a nearby neighbor. When police arrived, they found the accused gone and the victim's two year old daughter, Winter, missing. When the accused was later arrested in St. Clair Shores, he did not have the missing two year old with him. Since this event, the Lansing Police Department, along with all of our area, county, and state partners, have teamed up with the FBI to search for winter. We have searched the area of the incident using door-to-door -door canvases, canine searches, drones, multiple helicopter searches with heat signature technology, and our dive team, which is our scuba team, in the area with no success so far. Our partner teams in Detroit have investigated known associates, who frequent addresses related to the accused. And finally, we've kept the public up to date with our efforts and facts out of the case in hopes to finding new witnesses, new information, and to help the public know the areas where they can assist us by searching. We have active teams out searching this very minute, following up on tips and information that have come in through those avenues. What we need now is the public's continued support and assistance. We have shared the suspect's known routes, and the vehicle he was driving, as you were given in this in a hard copy. And we'll also be able to provide that in another format later today. This route will be shared with everyone. And please push it out so everyone knows and has an accurate indication. This is an approximate route based on information that we've received since this incident started. If you have any security cameras or ring doorbells, please check your systems. If you travel the approximate route, please keep an eye out for anything out of the ordinary. If you own any property or work on any property close to the route, please take some time to look around and call if you see anything out of place or unusual. We will stay the course. We will continue to investigate this case to the fullest of our capabilities. Please be cautious on spreading misinformation about this investigation. It's only harmful and, and sets us back in our efforts. Furthermore, if anybody has knowledge of Winter's whereabouts and chooses not to come forward by choice, you will be charged appropriately. We are here today because we are dedicated and committed to bringing Winter home. Winter is one of our kids and we won't rest until we find her. I will be remiss if I didn't acknowledge some of our colleagues and partners that are here today as well as who supported us and assisted us with this investigation. First and foremost, the men and women of the Lansing Police Department, the FBI offices in Lansing and Detroit, Ingham County Sheriff's Office, Eaton County Sheriff's Office, the Michigan State Police, our local law enforcement partners, St. Clair Shores Police Department, Detroit Police Department, our Ingham County Prosecutor John Duane, and of course Mayor Shore, who is here with us today. I have also heard personally from seven of, several of our key stakeholders in the city, such as our local and state officials and representatives, our local clergy who is here with us today, and those of the community who have assisted us in tips and information moving forward. Your support for our community in this time of need means very much to us, giving us the hope for a successful resolution to bring winter home. We will not give up on winter. We will keep hope and prayers alive for a safe return of winter. I will now turn it over to FBI Special Agent in Charge, Devin Kowalski. Thank you, Chief Sosby. 
Good afternoon, my name is Devin Kowalski, that's D-E-V-I-N, last name Kowalski, K-O-W-A-L-S-K-I. I'm the acting special agent in charge of the FBI field office here in Michigan. First and foremost, our hearts are with Winter Cole Smith and her family. This is a horrific situation, and the FBI has been involved in this investigation from the very beginning in, in support of Chief Sosby and the Lansing Police Department. We are bringing every resource we have, both here uh, in our field office, in our sub-offices across the state, and drawing on our headquarters resources, including our child abduction response team, behavioral analysis units, and other technical units to assist the Lansing Police Department. As the Chief noted, we, we thank you for the public's ongoing assistance and we continue to ask for your assistance with inform information related to Winter's whereabouts. Please contact us at 1-800-C-A-L-L-F-B-I. That's 1-800-CALL-F-B-I or www.tips.fbi.gov. That's www.tips.fbi.gov. Contact us at this phone number or website if you have any valuable information that can help us find her. This afternoon, the FBI is offering, announcing that we are offering a $25,000 reward for information leading to the location of winter. I wanna take a moment and thank the hardworking women and men of the Lansing Police Department, the St. Clair Shores Police Department, the Detroit Police Department, Michigan State Police, and a number, and a number, uh, a, t a vast team from the FBI and our field office and headquarters for their relentless, around-the-clock efforts looking for winter and putting this case together. And again, I want to thank members of the community for your contributions. We need you. The FBI is part of the Lansing community. We don't just work here. We live here. There is no prior, higher priority for us than to support Lansing Police Department in locating winter. Thank you. Obviously, this is an ongoing investigation that won't have a lot of comments that I'll be able to answer, but I'll open the floor up now for any questions that I can. Yes? What is Trice charged with officially? Uh, the, the initial charges, I, I don't have all of them right now because there's multiple jurisdictions in this, in this case. Yes? You talked about the route that Trice took after leaving Lansing. Are you able to shed any light as to why he traveled to any of those places? Not at this time. We know that, uh, that he has uh, friends and family in various locations around the state. Um, so we're uh, trying to uh, eliminate all the acquaintances and associates that he has. Absolutely. If anybody has any knowledge of Winter's whereabout or has control of Winter, uh, that, w that they need to know that they will be prosecuted to the fullest if they're involved in this in any way. Where is the suspect being housed right now? The suspect is in a hospital in the Detroit area, but our, the, LP, the Lansing Police Department officers are um, guarding him right now, and as soon as he's cleared from, the, from medical, then he will be transported up here to Ingham County. McCoy? Yes, there are, we, we encourage that everyone that is willing and has the ability to get out and help and to look for winter, um, whether it's on the, the route that was provided uh, or if there was any, anything that you would, any property anywhere close or in the proximity of the approximate route that you were provided, get out and look for uh, anything out of the usual, un unusual, out of the ordinary, and immediately call if there's anything like that. I caution you though, being that we have, we are on the 4th of July weekend and travel is very thick right now, uh, to be on the highways looking and, and search parties out on the highways right now uh, is, is somewhat of a dangerous situation. So I caution anybody that's wanting to be out on the highways right now to look for winter, traffic is gonna be heavy and get even heavier in the evening. So please be cautious. You shared the route with us. Is that something you're pushing out on social media, various platforms too, so that the public can look 
Yes. Yes, our media team will be pushing that out along with the FBI. What is the condition of the suspect? Is he awake, is he conscious, is he still not being uh, you know, accommodating, not cooperating? He is awake and conscious, and he is in, in the, we are in the process of continually interviewing him at this point. Yes. What's the status of the mom who was stabbed and assaulted? She has been released uh, from, from the hospital for her injuries. Yes. You talk about uh, getting security cameras, doorbell cameras. Um, have you received any of that already as you continue to look for more? We have, we have received an abundance of tips and information such as that, but we encourage anybody, obviously, uh, video is a very uh, crucial piece of the evidence to, to see and produce the route um, or produce any other evidence. Uh, but yes, we have and we will hopefully continue to. Is there video access? I don't have any information on that right now. A couple more, anybody else? Okay, as I said before, um, we will continue to push this effort. We will not give up. We want Winter home with her family. Um, she's one of our kids and we won't rest until we get her home and bring, bring some uh, safety to her and some closure to her mom. Uh, and if there's anybody that has any information, please reach out to us on our the FBI tip line or our 911 here in Ingham County uh, and give us any tips. Now we will continue to give updates uh, through our public information office along with the FBI's public information office and please look for any other updates on social media. Thank you.